Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me in the studio today is Robert White from Robert's Apothecary. And today we're talking about something very interesting, food state vitamins. Welcome to the show, my friend. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. Okay. I was a little bit confused when you started to tell me about this segment off camera. What do you mean by food state vitamins? These are vitamins that come from organically grown food as opposed to man-made synthetic chemicals that look like vitamins. Okay, I want to break it down for everyone at home if I can because these were questions I asked you before we came on set. So let's just say I'm not eating enough spinach. What vitamin is in spinach? Well, Popeye got a lot of iron from yes. the spinach. So we would then normally go and take an iron tablet if we need it, right? Right. Which is synthetic. What you're saying is this food-based vitamin is actually real food, so real spinach. Real food and much easier to assimilate and to absorb, to digest, to be used by the body. Are there differences in the vitamins though? There are. Take a microscope and take photos of vitamin C, vitamin B1, any of the vitamins. Those that come from food look like little bitty Brussels sprouts. And those that are synthetically made right. are big chunky crystal. Now when we swallow a tablet or capsule of the food state vitamins, dissolves in the stomach, gets into the bloodstream, 10% gets utilized, goes to the kidneys, the kidneys recognize that as food and recirculates. Keeps on recirculating until 95, 98% of that one pill or dose is absorbed. Right. With the synthetic ones, dissolves in the stomach, gets into the bloodstream, 10% utilized, First pass to the kidneys. The kidneys look at that and see these big chunky crystals, foreign body, and say, that's a foreign material. Let's excrete it, get it out. So with the food state, you get much greater utilization of what's in the actual pill, tablet, capsule. I, I've never heard of this. Is it something fairly new? Not that new, really? Troy. I don't know if it's available in Australia, though. <laughs> But, I haven't been there for a while. <laughs> but uh, I've had food state vitamins for... Oh, you're funny, Robert. You're very funny. <laughs> We're not backwards, you know. <laughs> you're All just right. down under. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back to the interview, will we? <laughs> All right. Explain, because as I was saying, I don't... I'd never heard of it. So how long has it been around and why haven't we heard of it? Because it sounds like a much better alternative. In fact, when we finish, I'm, going, I'm coming to the pharmacy. What, Excellent. What's the story? I've had these for probably 15 or 20 years. So they've been around a while. Now they are pricier because they're more expensive to extract the vitamins out of food than it is to make a big batch of the synthetic. Okay, chemical. we're not saying if you're not eating spinach, take this. Right. Okay, we're not saying that. This is part of your everyday vitamin routine, correct? It, exactly. How do we know we're taking too many vitamins? Well, some are fat soluble, and if we take too big a doses, like take vitamin A, for example, mm -hmm. vitamin A, vitamin D are fat soluble ones. A, you have to have a little fat, a little oil in the stomach for them to dissolve and get absorbed, but excessive doses, they will store in fatty tissue in the body. Right. And then we can have levels that are too high. Versus water-soluble vitamins, B, C, that are excreted. Gotcha. All right, Robert, when you come in next, I want us to talk about through the alphabet and what those vitamins do. Let's break it down, can we? We appreciate you. Very good. If you want to find out more information about Robert's Apothecary, there it all is up on the screen. Give them a call. This sounds amazing. I'm going over now to buy some myself. Back after this.